Email dental marketing is very effective for staying in front of your current and potential patients. And it always leads to higher patient conversion and an increase in your collections. But of course you have to do it right. After the break, I'll continue our four part series on creating dental marketing emails that gets you more patients. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Patient Attraction Podcast. I'm Colin Receiver. In yesterday's podcast, I covered how to create killer marketing email subject lines. Now that you know how to grab your patient's attention with your subject line, let's look at what your email needs to contain after they open it. If your practice doesn't have a brand, it needs one. Your brand is your consistent tone, your message, and graphic elements such as your logo and color palette. Your brand makes you instantly identifiable. Your email template doesn't have to be identical to your brand, but it should echo and reinforce your brand. It should convey professionalism and care in crafting of your email. Your branded email template should load quickly. Go light on the images that can slow load or prevent it completely. Some email programs won't load images by default. And don't embed the video in your email itself. Instead, link to it just like this email links to my podcast. Now, speaking of load times, you must make sure that your email will load on all devices. That means smartphones, tablets, iPads, laptops, and desktop computers. A responsive email design is paramount. Now, if you suspect you have customers with older technology, consider creating a text-only version of your email. Now, let's talk about the content of your email. Personal is better. Research shows that personalizing the email leads to a 14% increase in click-through rates. Something as simple as adding the recipient's first name can make a big difference. But you can and should go beyond that. Personalize the content to your patient's wants and needs. And that means sending emails that offer solutions for unsightly teeth to people with unsightly teeth. And emails about all-on-four treatments to people who need solutions like that or one like that. Content must be extremely relevant and useful to the reader. One mistake that I see many dentists make is to assume that all their current and potential patients will be interested in the exact same thing at the same time. Remember, patients are all over the map in terms of their buying readiness. One size hardly ever fits all. So segment your email base and make sure that you uh, send different messages to different people to increase acceptance of what you offer. For your current patients, their history with you will serve as a guide to what might interest them and solve their problems. For prospective patients, you might segment by the most common problems in their particular age groups. Or if you're gathering data on what bothers them, that's a gold mine right there. If you're tracking your website visitors, you can segment by which topics or services they click on and then engage those potential customers by the content they find most interesting and relevant. In tomorrow's podcast, I'm going to take a deeper dive into crafting the content of your emails. Until then, keep moving forward. Whoa.